I'm Kara Chadwick, Forest Supervisor of the San Juan National Forest, which encompasses much of southwest Colorado. The San Juan National Forest has been in an extreme drought situation with continued hot and dry weather. On June 1st, the forest implemented Stage 2 fire restrictions, the very day the 416 fire started. By implementing Stage 2 restrictions, we were hoping to reduce the potential for human-caused fires and hoping to avoid going into Stage 3 restrictions, which is a full closure of the forest. Since then, with the 416 fire, the evacuations associated with it, and the start of the Borough fire, I've heard from a lot of folks, from residents, from people on social media, and from my own employees. I've heard how concerned everyone is about the conditions out there, how dry the forest is, the weather, the new fire starts. When the borough fire started, we had to evacuate a couple of large groups and a large number of campers who were in the area at the time the fire started. I listened to friends, to neighbors, and employees. I met with city and county leaders, I met with local fire departments and other em emergency responder personnel about their concerns over the additional starts and the safety of the public. So I made the difficult decision to implement a forest-wide Stage 3 fire closure as of Tuesday, June 12th. This order will be in effect until the forest receives sufficient moisture to improve conditions. Now this means the forest is closed. No hiking, no camping or other recreational activities are allowed anywhere on the San Juan National Forest and this includes wilderness areas. I want to stress that this was a very difficult decision and was not based on emotion. We have criteria we use to make an informed decision on implementing these three levels of restrictions. There are 10 criteria based on scientific data, such as thousand hour fuel moisture, availability of resources, and adverse weather conditions, to name just a few. And now we've met all 10 criteria, which supports implementing level three fire restrictions. One of those criteria is based on whether we are getting human caused fires. While we can't prevent natural cause fires, it is within our power to reduce the, the probability of human cause fire, and that's through closure of the National Forest. Myself, my employees, we are all a part of this community. We live here and understand it, the impacts such an action has on all of us. But in the long run, it comes down to the safety of the public. Once again, this closure is effective until we see adequate moisture to reduce the threat of fire. So I hope you will join us in keeping our forest and our community safe. Thank you.